Uh, what is it with The Guardian's almost obsessive desire to drag every ethnic minority politician who doesn't sign up to their destructive, woke agenda? First, they attempted to paint the former Home Secretary Pretty Patel with Ugandan Indian ethnicity as a bully, even going so far as to publish this blatantly racist cartoon. Now they have turned their vicious focus to Pretty's brilliant successor as Home Secretary Superwoman Suala Braverman, whose Indian parents emigrated to Britain from Mauritius and Kenya. In a deranged front page article, the newspaper quoted her conservative rivals, terrified by the way those rivals of her popularity within the party, are hitting out at her so-called racist rhetoric and once again calling on the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to intervene and sack his Home Secretary. Now, such a move, by the way, uh, could be suicidal for his own premiership, as we know Suella is the only person in Cabinet who genuinely knows what it takes to stop the boats. The Guardian, it gets worse, it gets worse. They accuse Braverman of, quote, inflaming racial tensions on a number of occasions over the past few months. And it even went as far to quote someone who they described as a former senior minister from Boris Johnson's government, although they didn't name this person, calling Braverman a real racist bigot. Now, Baroness Farsi also let down her own party by personally attacking Suella in an interview with the grotesque and discredited race baiter James O'Brien, who spent months amplifying conspiracy theories by the disgraced convicted criminal Carl Beach. Are you calling the Home Secretary racist? I am calling her rhetoric racist. I am. And I'm supporting the letters which call her rhetoric racist. And I think it's, and I, and I say that, as somebody who was subjected to racism mm. growing up, you know, in the 70s and 80s, she should be thoughtful. She's responsible for the security of our country. We need a grown up in that role. You know, we certainly don't need somebody who's trying to, you know, perform some sort of Trump tribute act. Honestly, how has journalism in this country stooped to such a low? Uh, there was no sort of pushback there. And if The Guardian and the Tory wets really believe the divisive rhetoric they are pushing, and let me tell them, the majority of Brits must be racist bigots too. Because Suella is expressing what the silent majority have felt about the invasion via our southern border, uh, the woke policing and grooming gangs for many years. I'd love to be having a, a front page of the Telegraph yeah. with a, fly, a plane taking off to Rwanda. That's my dream. The British people deserve to know which party is serious about stopping the invasion on our southern coast and which party is not. It's the Labour Party. It's the Lib Dems. It's the Coalition of Chaos. It's the Guardian reading. To tofu eating. Woke karate. Dare I say the anti-growth coalition. What we've seen is a practice whereby uh, vulnerable white English girls, um, sometimes in care, sometimes who are in uh, challenging circumstances, being uh, pursued and raped and drugged and harmed by gangs of uh, British Pakistani men. We've seen institutions and state agencies, whether it's social workers, teachers, the police, uh, turn a blind eye to these, uh, to these signs of abuse out of political correctness, out of fear of being called racist, out of fear of being called bigoted. Yep, so she's speaking for the vast majority of us. But yet again, The Guardian and the hate-filled left don't believe Suella should be able to express these sensible opinions. Do you know why? Because she isn't white. And shame on her colleagues weighing in, like Tobias Elwood, the Conservative Chair of the Defence Select Committee, who told The Guardian that Suella's approach does not sit well with the new pragmatic and cooperative approach which the PM is now injecting into number 10 and has seen us improve in the polls. Ah, uh, in which country is Mr Elwood residing? Possibly the only thing that will stop Sunak facing electoral oblivion at the next election, mark my words, is if he allows Suella to lead the UK out of the ECHR and stop the boats as she wants to do. But the left are going to keep up their racism, like the comedian Lenny Henry, telling the Times newspaper of both Patel and Braverman's appointment as Home Secretary. That's odd, isn't it? It's like put a brown face on it. It's very hurtful. When you see brown people up there saying that stuff, it sends a chill into your heart. They're being used, you know.
It's pretty cynical, I think. So that's right. According to Lenny Henry, Pretty and Suella can't even think for themselves now. They're puppets. They're just puppets for white men, not two of our most successful politicians. What poppycock? And you know what? The left are the racist ones here. They are the bigots. Leave the Home Secretary's race out of this. She never uses it after all. And let her get on with trying to protect the country from imminent threats.